welcome back students a lot of you have asked me about uh, the last minute tips and tricks for csn net uh, whatever uh, it is december upcoming net or any upcoming net uh, in your future so what are the last minute tips and suggestions to prepare for csn net so here we go this video entirely dedicated to provide you the information about that and i'm going to tell you that this information that i'm going to give or provide is definitely completely my on my opinion so you may follow you may not but it depends because i find these things important and useful and also uh, i tell my students to do that so first things first uh, and this is the time let's say that the june net uh, that we have uh, in 21st or 22nd june i don't know exactly date but uh, this is the june so and this is the video recorded in the 6th june so uh, this is the scenario when you have uh, at the very last uh, minute for the csr net let's say two weeks or three weeks at max you have in your hand for the preparation of csr net so how would you prepare for csr net in this small period of time now the answer is you cannot simply csr net is an exam which should be prepared uh, for at least three to four months, five, six, or seven months, or even more than that. So you cannot actually complete all the syllabus uh, in these two or three weeks. But what you can do in this last month of your practice, because if you remember my books or my other uh, DVDs that I uh, sell, in those DVDs I have broken down all those processes of CSI NET and also the new DVD that's going to come uh, hit the market that is how I qualified NET. The idea is that you should have at least five or six months in your hand and you prepare all the topics accordingly to four months or five months in that. And the last month, that is the month for the exam, you should not read anything else. I mean, uh, whatever thing you need to learn and read is already being done. So that is the thing. If this is the June net and you are uh, coming to the June month, uh, almost everything you have already studied and learned so far. So there is nothing left to learn more in this month. So what you are going to do in this month actually is to prepare yourself for some strategic builder processes. That is the most important point for the last month of practice. Or let's say uh, this is the month when you start checking whatever you studied and where you actually stand. Now, I always recommend students to check that throughout the course, uh, like five or six months. But this is the month you ultimately check your concepts and how well you stand there in each of those topics and modules. So what will you do? You should find a standard material book, a standard book with questions. And in my opinion, that is the best choice to go for the last three years of question. That is the six questions. Uh, because two questions set for each year uh, the previous year question that is the best thing you should not look for any other there are some good books about uh, the questions uh, model question papers and all those things but actually do not rely on them i personally do not rely on them the thing is you should go for the previous year's question so find three previous years set or uh, four years of set of questions for example the question pattern that we are going to follow is coming from the 2011 so if you find it 2011 12 13 14 it will be eight different set and uh, you can study those eight different set and check whether you stand and uh, where exactly you stand so take that question paper set up your time and i mean stopwatch and start answering the question do not distract by other things Think of that you are doing this experiment. Think of you are in a room for CSN net. You are in an exam hall and trying to answer the questions in that time du duration, in that time period. And that is very, very important because it will build up many important things. One thing is that it will build up your confidence uh, that you can solve. First thing is that once you solve the question paper, obviously you need the answers. You also have the answer key. There are books out there which provides the answer key along with uh, the questions of the previous year. So find them. Once you get them, start answering the question. After three hours, it's done. You fill the OMR sheet exactly just like the exam. Once you finish that thing, then the next part here is to check your answers. So during the checking of the answers, you probably may not have the explanation for all the answers. But what you have is exactly whether the answer you read, uh, you've written is right or wrong. And try to find out the percentage that you're going to get. So try to do that. And it will give you the idea where you exactly stand. Uh, with the standard of CSI net questions. 
right now it can be both of this let's say you are not qualifying upon you, you try for the eight different set and you're not qualified uh, for six you only qualified for two so even if these situations arise you can say that you are in a kind of a situation where you can practice probably not going to get this net but in the future you're going to get it but it will help you to understand where you exactly are and during answering the questions you will know which module you are weak in so once you find that this is the module i am very weak and the questions are going to come from this module you just practice that thing nothing else this is one thing that you should keep going in this end month and beside that what you'll do is that you need to find you need to check what is your concept in different modules for example you need to recall things i always tell students this is the single most important thing about every examination in the world is recalling things because we never recall things uh, so we simply recall things in the exam hall that's it you we should you should recall things before the exam hall at least once it will build the memory permanently and you will not forget that concept again so you need to recall certain things you grab a blank piece of paper and try to think about certain concepts try to think about let's say a pathway let's say hedgehog pathway what was the pathway just try to construct that pathway in a schematic presentation just to make yourself understand nothing else you need to write everything nothing and all these things just to think about it yes i know that pathway i haven't forgot that yet once you build that connection in your mind once or twice it will create a permanent memory in your brain so that's why recalling is also important so analyzing what you are doing and also recalling now even if you are joined to any mock test session with any organizations and any other uh, places still it's very important for self evaluation i've always encouraged students to go for self evaluation because it will clear the concept because you know in which topic you are strong you know in which topic you are weak so that is very very useful if you study yourself and find out where exactly is the problem uh, for yourself so that is the thing so these are the two two things you should go, uh, do throughout this uh, season throughout the last uh, month or end month of your preparation there's no uh, nothing else to read and mug up during this time so do not uh, jam your mind with mugging up things during this last month just practice things and try to figure out where exactly you are having problem where exactly you have good concepts and all these things and build strategy that's the third thing is building strategy you need to build a strategy that this is how i'm going to play uh, in the exam hall this is how this is my plan a and if the plan a doesn't work we will obviously opt for plan b so you need to create that plan in your mind now I will provide some certain plans to you in the next videos, in future videos, because I'm going to do four videos on this particular set. But uh, obviously, the plan will vary for person to person. The plan I think feasible for me uh, may not be feasible for you. Uh, so you might require some something else, some other plan. So just plan uh, certain things that this is how I'm going to answer the questions in the exam room. So these are the three things you should do in the last month. Do not give your brain too much pressure. Uh, get your mobile and take lots of uh, soothing music onto it just keep on playing them and think about certain stuff what you learned and not just uh, have a walk at the evening or the morning and uh, doing these things accordingly and you will surely be succeed by this way thank you